Okay, let's see if we can get through this. Take one. This is the uh, beam steam with no steam. We're running on air. And uh, we'll get her going here. It has a uh, governor that actually works, the old uh, James Watt flyball governor. Um, I thought the uh, reciprocating motion of the beam was a very cool thing, so uh, rather than a more uh, common engine uh, beam. Uh, probably the most interesting thing is this This was built with, um, I think, uh, one small drawing, and that was a sketch of the beam. Uh, everything else has been put together by odds and ends that were available in the shop. Uh, the flywheel started uh, the project out couple of sets of ball bearings and uh, of course the uh, you know the blocks to hold that stuff had to be machined up and things like that but it was pretty much odds and ends and no plan uh, uh, lots of ideas from the web uh, make no mistake about that but no real plan uh, and I liked it that way because I I'm an electrical engineer not a mechanic and um, my machining skills are terrible and it would take me forever to build a part to plan. Whereas if I just start putting stuff together, I have a lot of fun doing it and uh, more success. So turn it around here while it's operating. Um, one of the goals was really a low speed engine, not a high speed engine. I like to watch the stuff whir. And uh, we can crank up the RPM here with the whiz control. That's, that's pretty much flat out. Um, and that's more than fast enough for what I want to do. And we'll slow it down again. This is uh, simply adding some attention to the to the governor. And uh, show you how the governor works here. Then I'll load up the flywheel, and you'll see this start to drop. Oops! I killed it. I can't reach. There we go. It doesn't have to move much. This is a pretty sensitive area of the valve. So a little movement here uh, causes a large change in the, uh, uh, the flow of the air. Uh, get a view from this side. The well-oiled machine reminds me of a woman I knew once. All ball bearings on this drive end uh, crankshaft as well as the drive for the uh, valve mechanism is on uh, ball bearings from uh, an RC helicopter. They're cheap and uh, small and uh, easily available. I had them because I have an RC helicopter. My son actually built the, uh, the piston uh, and cylinder when he was in high school. And this was another thing that prompted me to make this thing is that this was hanging around doing nothing. Uh, what a shame. So I had a flywheel, I had bearings, I had this thing. Uh, what more can one ask for? Well, the valve assembly. That was probably the hard part. Uh, my dad bought me a uh, Jensen Model 55. That's a twin cylinder engine. Back in 1957, maybe? Something like that. Anyway, I, uh, I've always marveled at the valve uh, mechanism in the Jensen, and uh, basically I scaled it up and scabbed it on the cylinder. The um, the flyball governor was a challenge too, uh, making that work well, and it, it still could use improvement, but but it's working pretty well. Uh, it has uh, uh, only one ball bearing, and that's that's for the uh, uh, the takeoff here. And this is just a sleeve, brass sleeves uh, uh, on this rod here for the for the main rotational bearing. Uh, this mechanism over here, uh, this is simply brass tubing and soldered together with some brass blocks, uh, riding on a, uh, uh, a screw, basically a threaded threaded piece of rod uh, that goes between these two guys. And that's pretty much about it. Right out here. It was a lot of fun. I think it works well. It works on very low pressure too, by the way. I'm, I'm actually running 18 pounds right now. Uh, it's not using it all. Uh, but it, without the governor, it will actually work by simply blowing into the uh, input tube here. Um, it, 
so it, it runs down to about 3 PSI when everything's aligned and, and uh, properly uh, lubed. We'll crank it down here and make it go slow again. Give you a sense of scale. That's a six inch scale there. Poetry in motion, don't you know? Or is it motion poetry? Yeah. 